realised oh, I was so dumb when I was younger. Amelia and Bridie. I'm Bridie and Amelia is at her house. I am home alone. Michael is out kayaking, getting his exercise in and he's doing some fishing. So I've been wanting to do a few like DIYs around my house. Kind of just like, I don't know, I'm still styling my house at the moment just because we moved like less than a year ago here and I didn't have anything to start with really. So I'm slowly getting there. But I really wanna do like little small things that are around the house that I've been like, I really need something there or I really need to paint that or whatever. So today is the day that I'll be doing that. Okay, I'm about to take you in into the literal worst room in our house. <laughs> I'm not even gonna explain it, Just I'm just gonna show you. This is literally the junk room. I've got old flowers from my wedding and from when Michael proposed to me. I wanna keep that and do something with it. It's a bit of a mess. Basically, this room was our junk room when we moved in. We put all the boxes in here, all the rubbish. There's a few things in this room that I have noticed that I would like to do some like little DIYs with. We're going to transform this room soon. We're going to do a video on that, so that's exciting. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm showing everyone this room. Uh, this chest used to be in my room when I was younger. I painted it white, but it's so chipped and it needs to be repainted. This is like silver when it's meant to be black, like on this side. So I was thinking of painting it gold, kind of like the handles I painted on this white cabinet here. So I think I should do that today. I just realized, oh, I was so dumb when I was younger. I didn't even take this handle off I just painted wait I literally just painted over it it looks so dumb ah oh, well the things you learn nest behind that. That's so gross. Well, that was the original colour. I got them all off. I know this is a lot of paint on them and it needs to be cleaned so I got to just like sinking of sandpapering them down and then painting them. Yeah, we'll see how we go. I sandpapered them. They're not like fully cleaned off with the paint just because the sandpaper was not like a really strong one. It was like a fine one and they had that so. But it still got off most of it. So I'm going to spray paint them now. I've got my spray paint. This is a gold. It's like satin gold from Bunnings. And then I've got, it's like a rose gold, but sometimes it turns up to be like quite brown like. Maybe I might do a mixture of both. We'll see. This is my spray painting station, as you can see from the grass. <laughs> mm. Let's go check up on the handles. Oh gosh. And see if they're dry so we can do the gold layer on the paint. Pretty dry, except it's not been done there. Oh man, I should have flipped that up. That would have been a good idea. All right, let's spray paint them gold. All right, Michael's back from fishing and he said he caught a fish, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Whoa, you caught two. 
Yeah. Whoa. They're like massive compared to the ones we caught last time. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. So good. Did you catch one? No. No? <laughs> really? <laughs> So today we're going to be doing a bit of a DIY project. Bridie's done something at her house that she wanted to get done and I'm doing something in my house that I wanted to get done. And I've been wanting to make a cute little costume for Evie for such a long time. So if you didn't know this about me already, I used to be in the costume department in film and TV or in theatre. I used to love costuming as I was a little girl. I used to dress up in all sorts of different things and my mother encouraged that a lot. She used to make cute costumes for me when I was two she made me a beautiful little fairy costume for my birthday she made me a princess costume for my fifth birthday and all sorts of things so I have a lot of memories dressing up as a child and playing pretend I also want to pass this tradition on to Evie and I hope that she'll remember this as well that being said I went to spotlight I mean I have a lot of fabric and I have a lot of bits and bobs and stuff that I can use but I wanted to check spotlight out anyway and I didn't have a lot of tulle and tulle's really easy to work with especially for princess or a fairy costume and that's what I'm kind of going for hi guess what Evie Mummy's gonna make you a princess costume do you want to wear a pretty princess costume look at this <gasps> Lord. Princess. Princess. <laughs> I got this cute piece of material and it already had the beautiful frills sewn onto it so that makes my life a lot easier. This is what I'm going to work with and I'm going to add um, a lining to it so it's not going to be see-through. I'm also going to add some pretty things like flowers or bows or whatever. Let's get sewing! P.S. Do you love my new haircut? If you haven't watched it already, go watch our previous video to this one and you'll see me chop off my hair. Do you like the new me? Don't whack that. Okay, so I have finished painting the handles. I finished painting them gold. They're drying at the moment. So while they're drying, I've been really wanting to make a dried flower arrangement for my table. So um, I'll show you my table first. This is our table. It has nothing on it. I want to put a photo of our wedding in there. I like the frame. That's why I bought it. So I'm thinking of putting a vase or something here to make this table look a little bit more interesting. So I have a few inspirational photos I'm going off of. So I like this one, kind of like earthy tones and then and that. It's kind of like sparse and nice glass vase on a ta vase on a table. And then I just like this arrangement with all like the baby's breath and the little different earthy tone colors to put all together. So yeah, I have Oh, I stepped on it. Ew. <laughs> I stepped on that little mess that I found before in that, in that, <laughs> in that thing. Ew, what was in there? That was really old, by the way. Anyway, gross. I should have cleaned that up. Yes, yeah, so I've got all these flowers. It looks so gross right now, but I've got all these dried flowers that I want to use. So we'll get them all out. We'll pop them on the table and we'll see, see what we can do. I'm just about to take apart my wedding bouquet, which is so sad. It's all dried. It doesn't smell the same. So this was my wedding bouquet and this was the bouquet from when Michael 
refers to me. It's what's left of it anyway. And he made he made this one, which was so cute. So basically what I'm doing now, I thought if I separate them and then bin the ones that I don't necessarily want or it's like falling apart and then I'll start arranging them. <sighs> I actually feel emotional. <laughs> Okay, so I laid out the flowers on my bench and I'll show you what they look like. It was so hard like not to like look back on the wedding day and like ah, I felt so emotional doing that. And my mom did such a good job at making my bouquet. It was so intricate and so many cute details in it. Those are just a random bunch I bought that I dried. Uh, that's from my bouquet. That's from when he proposed to me. This is from the napkins on the, the tables and the rest of this except for that, is from my brocade and wedding tables and stuff like that. So cute. Oh, and that one, this is the one that survived. Oh no, this is the one rose that survived from my proposal bouquet. That was this color. The rest of them were really dark. Is that like a total fail? I don't know what I'm doing, mom. <laughs> she tried to show me this morning on FaceTime. So I finished my bouquet. I'm actually quite impressed with it. I'm happy because it Reminds me of my wedding day and the day Michael proposed, which is really sweet because it's got all those flowers in there. So I finished the gold fittings. They look so much better. Obviously, the paint is still like chipped, so it doesn't look that great. But the gold looks really good on this white. And this is the other side. I think it looks so cute. But yeah, the paint looks so bad. Can't wait to style this little nook. So what are you doing, babe? Preparing dinner. <laughs> And what, what's for dinner? Fish. Did you catch that fish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Aww. Let's have a look. He's done a little creation, some sort of seasoning he's made up, and we're gonna have fish tonight. Mm -hmm. It's gonna Should taste good. good. And some potatoes by me. <laughs> dress on. I'm so surprised. Like she's scared of it. She usually loves dressing up. Evie, come on. I gotta try it on you to see if it fits. Don't you want to be a princess? No. What? No. What do you mean no? no. Don't you want to sing Frozen in your pretty dress? <sighs> Two year olds. Unpredictable. This is what happens when I get creative. There is stuff everywhere. I call it a creative mess. I mean, something's happening, right? It's all for a good cause. Hopefully this dress will be finished by today. I mean, it's getting somewhere. It's not exactly done. It's looking really cute. Evie has been a total pain in the butt today. She won't try the dress on. I've had to force her to put it on. So this will be interesting to see what she thinks at the end. Hopefully she likes it and actually puts it on and wears it. But I'm not getting my hopes up because I think my hopes will be crushed all this time and effort and she doesn't even like it so i called my mom and i was like mom she won't put this dress on like i feel so sad and she kind of just chuckled to herself and was like amelia you do the same to me when 
you were her age, so I think it's payback. Anyway, it's going well. I'll just give you an update. So I have attached the dress all together and I've done the lining as well. And I've trimmed the top frill so you can see the waistband, which will be tied up in a bow at the back. So it'd be super cute like that. And I've got to do some straps. These are just temporary straps so I know where they're going, etc. And so I'm thinking of putting like some sort of flowers or lace or some sort of trim on the front or on the sleeve or something. Or like ribbons or tulle to tie it up at the sleeve. Not exactly sure yet. I'm kind of letting it happen organically. That's how I like to play with costuming. It's like whatever comes together, it just looks way better. I mean, I like it. I think it's coming together cute. I just hope she likes it. I've been doing some fiddling. I wasn't satisfied with it. It needed something on it, like detail of some kind, like lace or trimming of some sort. And I have a lot of that. I've got lots of bits of stuff from collecting for years now. Ooh. So I've been going through all my things and found some lace that I think make it look so cute so what do you think guys so i was thinking of putting this bit of lace underneath the frill i think that makes it just pop a bit and because i was trying to figure out what kind of thing should i do for the shoulder and if i should put lace in it or not but if i do lace i think it needs to bring like i need it ow evie you're tickling me oh no i think i need to incorporate the lace in from the skirt I into the shoulder so that's my thoughts and i'm not sure about to do what i'm going to do with the flowers or if i'm going to use the flowers or not but i think it's kind of cute it looks very mystical what have you got evie what's that Mama. mama's safety pins hey are you helping mommy sew your pretty dress yeah do you love your pretty dress oh well, thanks What am I going to do? I'm trying to figure out what to do for the sleeves and what to do for the decorations. I'm thinking of this lace and I think it's going to work pretty well. So I might cut the edges out so then I can put this lace up on the sleeve as well as in the skirt because this is too wide to put into the sleeve. So I'll put the wide part in the skirt and then cut out this part to make it into the sleeve. So it looks super cute, I hope. Otherwise, I might just use this lace to add to the sleeve, but it's just a different color slightly, but it might look cute too. Anyway, let's see how we go. I think I should get you a pretend sewing machine. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful, darling, beautiful. Ah, look at you. So I've been trying to figure out what to do for the straps of this dress. I didn't want it to be too frou-frou, but I don't know, nothing was working. I thought I would use the leftover fabric that I just used, that I cut off the hem because it was too long for Evie. And it was just really scrappy tulle, like it wasn't much at all, like really like thin and long, like wide, and it just didn't, it was like, wasn't even but it kind of made a cool effect because it's not all even but it looks kind of ruffly and cute and then i added some of the lace uh, that i used in the skirt i just cut it down to make it smaller and use that so then it'll be matching the skirt part as well so i think i'll use that as a sleeve and i think it might look super cute hopefully it won't look too frou frou -y, but i think it'll look really sweet can't wait to try it on her if she'll even let me she's been so stubborn today well we'll see do you like your dress? Uh oh, I'm gone. Oh, gone. You gone shopping? Bye. Bye. Yes. Yes. Oh. oh. I hope you love this video and it inspired you to do something at home that you've been wanting to do like a DIY or get creative because I mean we've got the time so why not. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell button so then you can get notifications of any videos that are upcoming. Anyway you have a wonderful week and get creative. Okay bye. bye. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I'm Alistair. I just wanted to make a shout out to Kate. I'm a big time fan of this channel. And uh, back to your scheduled viewing. Enjoy. Uh, is it be a skirt or a uh, It's a dress. I'm just tired. Huh? Hey.
Hang on, stop, stop. Oh, come here. That's beautiful, Evie. That's beautiful. Moon, yeah, keep dancing. Is this the Amelia and Bridie YouTube channel? Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to be on the Amelia and Bridie YouTube channel. Shout out to Kate. It's been Evie. Thank you.